Hi guys, good morning. Am I on focus? Oh my god. <laughs> Look, <laughs> today is so hot. I had to wear a dress because this is getting out of control. It's so hot outside. And today is Thursday and I just want to see my loves if I can use my AC. This is the situation. I don't know if you can see, but my AC is way up out there and there's a plug hanging so there's no way i mean i need to see if the plug i brought the extension cord goes all the way from here to there <laughs> If it isn't the amazing guys, how are you guys? Oh man, I just <laughs> I always wear um, my hair like that every time I am, I'm biking and I, I look so dorky. Hi guys, how are you? Am I on focus? No, yes, I never know. Anyway, uh, today is Tuesday and um, I'm officially by myself. I'm so sorry for not vlogging that much the, uh, the past couple of days and for not uploading a video last week, I'm sorry. Uh, but Ed just left for an entire month back to Chile because he's touring with his band and being successful and amazing. And I am here all by myself. <laughs> uh, so today's plan, after screen printing so many t-shirts, um, which you're going to hate me because I can't show you right now, I need to use my heat press in order to seal the deal, in order to seal the painting. So the one that I'm using right now, guys, is this one. I got it a few months ago and it's amazing. Um, it's quite powerful, uh, but I really like it because in order for the t-shirt to be washable on the washing machine and in order also to set the paint, you have to uh, use one of these. I mean, you can use an iron. I used to use my iron for doing this. Ironing. Such a weird word. Anyway, uh, this is way more convenient because you can just like push this handle down and it will be ready. Um, anyway, I have to do that today. And also, I got a very boring order from Target, which we're going to unbox right now.
I checked my mail and look what just arrived. Do you guys remember this? Um, so a couple of uh, videos ago, we did this. Um, look at this, these cute doggos. Um, do you remember that I show you the mock-up of the doggos? Well, now look, it came exactly as uh, I wanted the size, but look, now I can put them on my computer and on my new pencil case. I bought um, a transparent one because I want to see what's inside um, my pencil case. So I don't know if you can see, but um, I'm gonna put one. Uh, I'm gonna put one doggo there. I got this tiny fan for my desk, and I really wanted a measuring tape with um, inches because you guys in the US have another metric system, like another measuring system, uh, but I couldn't find one. Actually, the one that is for sale in Muji is for centimeters. <laughs> so um, I got this one and it's quite cute. Look at this, you guys. Finally, I will be able to measure both in inches and centimeters. I'm really happy. Um, also, I forgot to show you the other stickers that we did. So I needed some labels for the t-shirts I'm doing. And um, yeah, I think they're going to work out really, really well. The quality actually is so nice. <laughs> I thought they were going to be like paper, whatever stickers, but no, uh, the quality is really nice. Um, I did them in Sticker Mule, by the way. Um, and these ones are from Sticker App. It's my favorite sticker company. And I also did these ones to close the tissue paper. And it looks so cute. Look, you guys. Anyway, is this silly, silly to share? I really wanted to show you um, how they look like. So yeah, now I think I'm gonna have some snacks. Um, every time I film my snacks, I get really self-conscious uh, because these are dry pears, but they look like vaginas, which nothing wrong with that. Oh, hi guys. As you can see, I am now home. God, it's spoiling hot outside. So I decided that we should do something together. I decided to do some coffee for tomorrow and Ed left this by accident, I think, because he didn't intend that to. Uh, this is a really cool um, liquid container and it's insane because it keeps, it's, this sounds like an sponsor, <laughs> it's not. Uh, it keeps the water either really, really cold or really, really hot. So I'm going to make this coffee now for tomorrow. And once is um, room temperature, I'm going to put this on the fridge in the fridge, yeah. Oye, oye. Or something, and then he's like, Can I take a photo of your feet? 
Hi guys, good morning. I'm so sorry about the noise. Wait, can we wait? Okay. Um, hi guys, good morning. Today is Friday. I had to change the mirror <laughs> because today they're finally going to install internet at our place. We hadn't had internet since we moved here and we have been using the internet from our phones. <laughs> but it's getting to a point in which we're using all of our data uh, or internet data from our phones, so I'm really excited that we're finally going to have internet! Hi guys, uh, so I thought <laughs> I didn't have to go to the office today, but I'm actually craving to paint with gouache so bad, so I'm going to quickly go to the studio to pick up my gouache and my painting equipment. Could you please go with me, guys? Let's go together. It's so hot outside, but I think I'm going to go on my bike because that will be way quicker. So let's go together. Do you want to go with me? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Hi guys, good morning and happy Monday. Monday. <laughs> How are you? Um, before we do anything fun, aka painting, uh, I need to get back to people and answer some emails while I do, I paint my nails. Uh, today I decided to paint my nails red because I think it will match my outfit. I got this skirt over the weekend. It's a secondhand skirt. I love it because it has pockets. Anyway, that's the plan for today, getting back to people and paint. Okay guys, I'm finally done with emails, those disgusting emails. Um, again, sorry about the noise guys, I have my um, window open. Uh, so right now I'm very excited you guys because we're going to try something new. I've always wanted to do this and the other day I went to a thrift shop and I found these gorgeous plates um, and glasses since I am drinking lots of iced coffee. I thought it would be nice to have glasses here at my office, at my studio. And so I got two glasses and two plates which we're going to paint today. I did a quick research on Google and uh, Peveo does, um, this is not a sponsor by the way, <laughs> Peveo does porcelain uh, paint, which we're going to use today. And I bought this uh, five shades, which I'm going to mix and use. 
and I have no idea. I think, I mean, I did the research and apparently you can use, you're allowed to use porcelain paint on top of glass, on glass. So I don't think we should have any problem uh, painting with this paint on top of this baby. And in terms of design, I was thinking something really, really simple. I wanna do uh, the same dog I paint ev almost everywhere. Uh, on top of this glass, this one, and I want to do a cute poodle on top of this glass and I think it's going to look very rad because since the glass is transparent I think the white is going to look very nice and a bunch of clouds, I'm gonna add a bunch of clouds as well and with these two plates I was thinking of drawing cats, I just realized that we're going to paint cats <laughs> on plates and dogs on glasses, but that's fine. I'm going to paint uh, two cats dancing on this plate because I think um, the white is going to look really, really cool on top of a color plate. I don't know if you can see, but it's this gorgeous um, dusty blue. I don't know how to describe this color. And this one, I want to do, I want to draw a very cutesy cat like this on the tiny plate. I think these plates would look, I think I'm going to use both of these plates for snacks or for having lunch. Uh, but yeah guys, I am really excited. I have no idea how to paint with this paint. No idea how to paint with this paint. I know you are supposed to bake the plate and glasses for a, about half an hour after you're done with painting. But let's just do this research together and jump into the unknown. Um, I'm very excited about this. situation excuse the airplane <laughs> um, I love that it worked perfectly once I washed the marker that was underneath so if you made a mistake it's really easy to wash it off and start all over again so the sketch I made it actually with the thinnest brush possible um, and now I'm waiting for this pasta to get dry so I can do the outline in terms of the glasses I think, um, let me see if I can focus, it works really nice, though the blue, I don't know if you can see, but it tends to be transparent if you put it, there you go, so it's a transparent color, so if you're really into not transparency, I will suggest that you paint white and then 
the color on top but I think it looks so cute look at this <laughs> I don't mind the texture um, as you guys know I'm really into texture now so even these details there you go that you can see uh, through the light I don't mind that at all because it still looks um, amazing when the light is on the other side I outlined the face of the cat again uh, with a darker blue because I realized that this blue even though it's gorgeous is too light so I used the darkest the blue marine one to outline um, the face of the cat and I think it looks very very cute hi guys so I think I'm finally done with the experiment the ceramic experiment and I had so much fun <laughs> I've been wanting to do this since the beginning of the year and I am so happy I finally did it um, a few notes on the painting. So as you guys saw, the transparency thing was the issue. So if you hate transparency, you might want to paint with white um, first and then add a few layers of white and then color if that's your jam. Also, I tried the markers. And even though they're great for details, I wouldn't recommend the use of the marker itself, by itself, because it leaves this like oily, not oily, but it tends to, line tends to go smaller once, you, once it gets dry. So it isn't as accurate as using the pencil, I mean the brush, I'm sorry, the, a, a tiny brush. So that's my, my, my only FYI with the marker. Just be careful because the line isn't as accurate when, once it gets dry. Um, other than that, I loved doing this. Now I have to wait 24 hours before baking these babies, so you won't be able to see the final result. I mean, it will look exactly the same, but uh, I won't be able to wash on the dishwasher or wash in any way uh, these plates and glasses before baking them. Uh, but the instruction said that I should bake this for 35 minutes at 150 uh, degrees Celsius aka 300 Fahrenheit. So that should be fun. I am really happy I did this. Now I have uh, plates for snacks and for cold drinks uh, in my studio, which was something that I really wanted. <laughs> but yeah, I hope I encourage you to try something new. Yeah, thank you so much guys for joining me in this video and for keeping me company, especially now that Ed is traveling. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you so much to my patrons because they allow me to buy this awesome, all of these art supplies that you see, the plates, the paints, the brushes. Thank you so much patrons for allowing me to do these crazy experiments. Crazy, I don't know if that's the word. We didn't do anything crazy really, but thank you for allowing me to have the space to rent this studio um, and do these wonderful things with my hands. Did that make sense? I have no idea. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of my life. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and a lovely weekend ahead and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>